The following video contains scenes of violence, adult themes, suggested dialogue, and coarse language, such as shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Enigmatica 2. Uh, today, guys, we are going to uh, we're going to do a little bit of messing around. Um, we're probably going to do a little bit of farming here and there, but uh, mostly what I'm thinking is what I'm thinking. We are going to figure out how to build a mob farm. Now, I have an idea. Um, part of it has to do with uh, these ginormous ass holes that, uh, that my turtles dug out. And um, kind of thinking out loud, I'm pretty sure that drops something way far enough to, to kill it uh, and even if it doesn't um, I have an idea there's these things oh no that's not them uh, spike yeah 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 so uh, we can make because uh, we have extra utilities in this pack uh, we can make these different spikes now if memory serves yeah 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 so if you go with gold ones the mobs drop XP um, and then if you go with diamond ones, they actually will drop, um, player only kills. So you'll get things like, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, you'll get things like, um, mob heads. And I think you'll also get, I think ender pearls is, a requirement for for these I think there's a few other ones um, I know I know you can get certain things out of uh, certain mobs that requires it has to be finished off by a player I think I think ender pearls are one of them not sure I don't remember now but that's kind of my thought um, we don't have a crap load of diamonds but I feel like if I send my turtles on another mission um we might get enough to to do what we want to do um because looking at this if we go with these uh we end up needing two four six oh god hold on never mind that i didn't see the block of diamond there damn huh Okay, maybe we don't go with that. Maybe we end up with going with the gold ones because I'm pretty sure we have enough gold to do what, we, what I want to do. Yeah, we got plenty of gold. How many diamonds we got? We have... Si we have... Oh, you know what? Hmm. You know what? We have enough to do at least a little bit of this, this mob farm that I had in mind. Oh, yeah. Sorry. This was me minimum doing a little bit of crafting off camera uh just try to to try to um get what's the it's this i was looking at this and i was kind of just like eh, let's mess with this so I, I i i built this crafter and tried to automate our our silk thread and then realized that literally we're running out of out of silk thread it's kind of funny um okay so Let's try that. Let, let's try this. So if we go, we need a block of diamond. Let's let's just make one. We need a couple of iron swords. One, two, three. Right. Uh, and then can we just make these? Yeah, we can. Okay. So that actually didn't take as much diamond as I thought, and it makes four of them. Ooh. So here's my thinking, guys. Here's my thinking. We're gonna have multiple layers on this thing. All right. It's gonna be. It's gonna come up to here. Like maybe not right all the way up here, but like say maybe here. All right. Let's let's say this is the first. Bam. All right. They're gonna fall. That'll be the first one down. Now, I'm thinking we'll end up having maybe ten layers. I actually don't remember. I think this is a 10 by 10. So uh, we'll have a two wide gap in the dead center. So we'll end up having uh, one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, 
All right, so we'll go one, two, three, four. So this one and that one are going bye-bye. And then check it out, guys. I got my diamond wand going. Oh, oh yeah. That was that was totally worth. I, th I think it's worth one diamond. It, it, it's it's worth every diamond, every diamond, period, without question at all. Worth every diamond. Okay, so you know what though, we gotta be careful because this <laughs> the, in its current state it will spawn. <laughs> if we're not careful, we're we are putting um we are putting potential uh, area for spawning. So. We do have to do this, and when we do this, we'll, uh, or once we do this, I should say, we will get it uh, lit up a little bit. Okay, guys, uh, so this is what I have in mind. We're gonna use these fans. Uh, now these fans are, are they turned? They are turned. That's interesting. I didn't know you could do that. Let's make sure we get these things straight. That one's straight. And we're gonna have a two wide, or every other block they're gonna go. Yeah, I've fucked this up. It really should be, it should be an odd number. Damn, I really don't wanna carve that all the way down. Okay, it won't be the most efficient. However, It'll work. It'll work. I think it'll work at least. Yep, that's definitely gonna work. <sighs> oh. Oh shit. Um, let's see. Is this gonna cause a problem? Are we gonna have a fight between the fans? Mm. That might be a problem. Whoops. Uh... Let's see. Are the fans going to fight and screw me? Yes, they are. One. 100% they're gonna screw me over. Well, crap. Okay, this uh, this just became more difficult. This just became exponentially more difficult. I think now what I have to do is set the turtles on uh, on carve and let them uh, let them make a bigger space i wasn't planning on that okay tell you what guys we're gonna uh i'm gonna look around i'm gonna reevaluate some things and uh we're gonna come back to this hey guys all right so uh, just logged on and uh the inspector is actually on but uh i'm gonna keep going with the uh um uh, our, our farm here. I've managed to set up to an extent. Oh, not here. Down further. Down, down here. Yeah, down here. So here's what I've got so far. Mm, break that. And there goes a creeper. And I think he just hit the, f he must have just hit the ground. He totally did. All right, it's working. I mean, it's working to an extent. Um, we still have a lot to do. We have like six more levels of this to do, but I mean, this is promising that this is working. Uh, so what I've done is what I've explained to you guys before is uh let's just we'll break in god damn okay i think i'm actually gonna have to move the move one of the fans there's a specific fan that is causing all kinds of problems
it's this one. This one, I actually think I need to just move over. Because the way it works is it's pushing us on our, um, it's actually pushing us on our stairs. We're gonna end up dying because we can't get back up the stairs. <laughs> so I'm just gonna kick it over. I wonder if we actually need to. Yeah, we do, we do, we do. Nope. What I am gonna do, you know what I'm gonna do? God damn. I'm going to turn the fan ever so slightly, like that, and hopefully, if I do that... Oh, that is not what I meant to do. I'm going to try to turn the fan ever so slightly towards the center. Um, so, if I'm lucky, it won't actually catch yeah that's better look it's not catching the um oh but it doesn't catch this block oh yeah it does okay yeah, 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 yeah. okay the likelihood that something's going to spawn right in that corner is pretty low however we can walk up the stairs without getting blown down the stairs that's the problem i was trying to to solve okay i'm so much happier about this now Oh yeah, 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 that's totally working. Okay, cool. So, um, whoops. You know what I should probably do? I should probably light this. Yeah, I should probably light this. I was about to jump across that and realize that I'd get stuck by the other fans. Um, I'm going to light this because if I don't light this up right now, things are going to spawn and it's going to hit their things are going to like fall through the world, like fall down and hit me on the way down or blow up if it's a creeper or something like that. I don't want to get bit for that. Um, but yeah, the, the inspector is up there doing something. I, I didn't look too hard at what he's doing. I, I'd like to be surprised by his his, his video. Oh, oh, what is this? What? All right, we have a doorway. <laughs> I I didn't I didn't realize this was a thing. I mean, I I kind of feel like we should at least take that out, but okay. Um. All right, so I've got a ton of uh cobble, and I still have. A couple of fans. We're gonna need some more though. So let's um, fan. Let's make a couple more of these fans. And oh, I need iron. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple more things uh, sorted out on this farm, and I'll be uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Hey guys, all right. So uh, looking at this, I almost missed that. Gotta get that redstone. There it goes. Um, so guys, this is the design that I've uh, ooh, I've settled on. Ow, that hurt a shitload. Uh, I have no food. So long and short, everybody's gonna fall down here and land on the spikes. The spikes then have, I'm sure you can hear it, a upper minecart underneath. Um, I know there's way, way better ways of doing this guys i'm actually well aware of it um but right now uh i think probably the best way of doing it is is this um i considered doing um the uh like a, a vacuum chest but i don't have any ender pearls so we're we're kind of stuck with this for the time being um but I, I think it'll be fine i'm not too worried um but yeah guys so right now yeah there we go um i'm about to go up here we're gonna take out all the torches oh, apparently i didn't get vein miner on that i'm confused eh, 
there. I was like, what the shit? Ooh, diamonds. After what we just did, we actually need some diamonds, so... The, uh... This, these spikes are not cheap. Gotta say that. Really cool. Uh, do quite a bit of damage, so I think anything that, um... That does cause us problems, like, if it doesn't die from fall damage, I'm pretty sure it's gonna die from the spikes very quickly. They seem to be pretty efficient, especially in, like, damn near killing me, so... That's... That's got to be a plus, right? So, we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to get up here. Uh, one more? One more. That's the top. Pretty sure this is the top. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to uh, we're gonna go. We're going to seal this up completely. Yep, that's the top. You know what? I want that. There we go. So we are going to, uh, we're going to seal this up. You know what? Let's do this real quick. We're gonna grab food so we don't die because my thinking is we're actually just gonna like drop down level to level it's probably the easiest and fastest way of doing this because the other thing i'm kind of concerned about is mobs spawning on top of me uh i need some food perfect crap loads of of baguette can you toast the baguette no, you can't. We're gonna try. All right. There we. Nope, not this. Here, here. All right. So we are going to. How we're gonna do this is basically turn on all the fans, jump over, turn on all the fans, drop down one. Um, so we have to knock out the torches. Right? We're gonna... This could be a little interesting though. Whew, all right, made it. Um, now we also have to make sure to block up everything else so we don't have any light coming in. Like, that's dark, man. Whew. And um, if you guys think I've, I've overlooked something, I don't think I have, but if you think I have, let me know. Uh, toss in the comments down below. Uh, if you think I can do something better uh, right in our, in our current situation. That's the other thing too, right? Um, we're not crazy uh automated yet or anything like that so eventually yeah we're gonna have way better ways of doing this but not quite yet okay and a lever this was a mistake <laughs> My assumption. Oh wow, that is. My assumption is that we'd have some mobs already. What do we got? Okay, I got gunpowder and string. You know what? That's not good. That's uh I was kind of expecting more than that. Wonder if uh I just don't have enough caves lit up. Oh, hello. 
That's a hole. See how we're getting we're getting blown around a little bit, guys? This is what I was being concerned about. I don't want to like get blown off a step. Now we won't have to come down here often. I just don't want to like die because of it. All right, well, that's unfortunate. I was expecting better drops, like better drop rates, definitely. Hmm. Maybe what we'll end up having to do is um, AFK for a while and see what spawns and kind of just go from there. I, I don't really know what else to do. That's pretty... Um, the, 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 that said, though, like the drop rates at, at currently are pretty disappointing. Maybe I do have to go around and... Uh, Light up more caves. Hey guys, how's it going? Alrighty. Uh, so I think uh, I think I've fixed the uh, the problem with our uh, oh, with uh, with our drop rates. So our drops are have gotten much much better. Um, I've actually got it to a point where yeah, as I was about to say, as you can hear, uh, stuff is dropping on a pretty regular basis. I went around and lit up some caves. Um, I found one really good sized cave system that uh, that it wasn't lit up yet. But uh, I also uh, saw that uh, the video was in basically recording really horribly. And I don't know why. Um, well, I have an idea why, but I've tweaked some stuff and I think uh, I think I have fixed the problem. So. Yeah, good enough. Bam. Uh, but yeah, I also, uh, I, I'm i not sure if you guys saw that, but what I did was, um, oh, well, I'm in here now. Um, I also made it so uh, everything's being piped up uh from down below with uh with just some really basic uh what are they called are they called transfer item ducts they're called item ducts so they're just basic item ducts uh i went with the opaque ones because i've heard in the past that they cause um they can cause some lag if you have the normal ones because you can actually see the items traveling through the duct work um so i just have it all coming up here and yeah, so I mean that's what we've gotten. I've I AFK'd for I want to say I AFK'd for like half an hour, and we ended up with this, um, which that's not shabby. I mean, damn, uh, we we got decent, but I think there's like a butter zone because I I did it twice actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I AFK'd uh, once over here in the in the smeltery area. Uh, and then I AFK'd down here, but I think the problem is this one, I think I'm too close to that this, uh, this first spawn pad. So I think maybe best place to do it is either like gonna be up here, just out of range of, uh, of those two pads, because you have to be, I wanna say spawning is supposed to be like 20 blocks away or so. So I think this maybe is probably the best place up here somewhere. And uh, yeah, um, I glanced over it in uh, earlier. Um, actually, I probably didn't even, I think I've cut it out, but I have a new pick. It is a uh, Alumite pick, as you guys probably noticed that it's attached to, uh, it's actually attached to this chest all the way up here. Um, I did an upgrade and, and did that. And so with Alumite, when you mine a block, if it's turned on, that is. So if I turn this on, you'll see that I uh, I don't have any cobble in my inventory, right? And then if you look here, uh, 33 is the, uh, let's see, no, 41. If I go break this cobble, 
42. So it's got, um, I can't remember what it is, it's Global Traveler perk. So it'll, it automatically shoots uh, the, uh, the inventory, or whenever you mine something, it automatically just goes it to this inventory and you basically just ship, shift right click and to to link it to an inventory i have a link to this one because uh you can literally go mining for days with this thing guys um but yeah uh and then the other thing we got was uh the inspector has left us a little thing he left us the uh the thought the th thermometer um and it actually has inventory scanning which is so cool because um, this didn't used to do this. If you hold it over an item, it didn't used to do that. You actually had to like throw the item, like boom, and then pull this out and right click the item. Um, now you can just actually like hold it over the item. That's so, so much easier to work, right? Like that, just boom. And actually, um, I did it by accident earlier. I didn't even realize this was a thing. Anything inside a chest, um, you can literally just hold this and it'll scan every item in the chest in one shot. Um, that's really cool. I have no idea. I'm gonna have to look into it, but I don't know if the, um, well, here, let's see. Yeah, look, there is stuff in that chest. Holy shit. Oh my God. Well, I think I did half of his quest book for him. Whoo. I didn't even mean to do that. Wow. Well, that's gonna be an interesting thing for him. Um, he hasn't... Did he... Not... Do I have to like claim? Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, cool. So I think um, I think I just completed a bunch of stuff for him. I'm not sure how much of that was, uh, was already done. But I guess... <laughs> I guess uh, he'll, uh, you'll, you'll find out more in his video, guys. Um, but with that, I think we're gonna wrap up for today. Uh, my next, uh, the, I think the next video, we're gonna really, holy shit, okay, well, um, you know what? Screw it. We'll, we'll end with claiming a whole ton of chests and opening these puppies up. That's how we're gonna end this video. But I think the next one, guys, we're gonna, uh, we're actually gonna, uh, we're gonna mess around with. Oh, ooh, that's really expensive. Meh. Meh, mycelium. Oh, a gold encrusted lapis lizard. I did never knew you could do a gold encrusted lapis block. That's gotta be pricey. God damn. What does that look like? That is gaudy. Why? Well, we'll probably never know. Um, Ta-da! Uh, but yeah, guys, I think uh, we're gonna wrap it up for today, and we're actually going to uh, we're gonna look at mechanism next time. Um, I have an idea. I've started a little thing here just to try to get it going, uh, but realize that I'm diving into something enormous. So we're gonna start off on that next time, and uh, yeah. So thank you for watching, guys. If you haven't already, toss a subscribe. If you liked the video, uh, throw me the thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, uh, give me a thumbs down and uh, tell me why in the comments. Um, if I've done anything uh, that you feel like I could do better with, because there is so much about these mods that I actually don't know, um, put it in the comments. Uh, or if it's something that you guys want me to, uh, to highlight in the next episode, uh, again, same deal. Toss it in the comments and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll review and we'll see what we can do with it. But uh, thanks, guys. Have yourself a terrific day and uh, I'll catch you in the next episode. Cheers.